All right, so in order for you to make your own arrow garden, you're gonna need a container. Now I picked the coffee container just, just to show you guys as an example. But what you wanna do, you need a container that would be easy to use. And you need an um, aquarium bubble stone. And you need an aquarium pump, which I have one over there. I'm using with with my first arrow garden, but I'm gonna add another um, the line to it that would go to this one and uh, so you can choose this stuff I mean the, the aquarium bubble stone is about a dollar and a half the big ones at Walmart a, a container you can easily find a container somewhere you want to make sure that it's it's covered and it's um, not a, a plastic container that is see-through because the roots really don't like light so easy the next thing you want to need is a drill now there is a couple ways you could go with making an arrow garden there is a traditional way which requires a hydroponic basket and um, and uh, it requires also hydroton and rock wall or, or grow sponge so that's the traditional way there is another easier way to do it um, which is a little bit more expensive but it's really worth doing it now Aero, Aero Garden, Miracle Grow Aero Garden stuff would work for this perfectly. The reason it's perfect is because they send you these kits with the nutrients and with the grow kits that you can start your own thing easily, put your own seeds in there and, and cover them with a the dome and just put them. So I'll, I'm going to show you how to do it this way, but I will, on the link underneath the YouTube video, I will put the the links to buy all the other materials that you might if you want to go the traditional way so it's really easy what you want to do is you want to mark where you are going to drill your holes now in this one we could make a three three pot arrow garden and I'm gonna just do it like this I'm gonna use a drill bit it's an inch drill bit on this just I don't know if you can see this perfect it's, it's perfect for this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my hole and then once the hole pokes through I'm gonna to to do it backwards to get a smoother cut so that's one was too oh, easy to go. There you go. So then what I want to do is I want to clear the edges. This is very cheap plastic right here. But if you look at it, these guys fit in there perfectly. Now once you do this you want to also poke a hole which I'm gonna do with with this. for your airline to go in and then you, you simply fish the airline in here and you fill fill this with water so the water reaches the just right about the bottom of the sponge in here you fill it in the, with water and you put the air stone and the aquarium um, pump you connect it to the aquarium pump and you let it run and you put your seeds in there you put this under a grow light or in a sunny location and before you know it you will have an arrow garden that works perfectly and what you want to do is you want to follow the instructions on the miracle grow arrow garden so and this is simple guys this is simple anybody can do this what arrow garden has done is what miracle grow has done is that he has made they have made the these pods they have made these for <laughs> in a way that they're dummy proof they're so simple to use that anybody can do it. Now, if this is too much work for you, you can buy the Aero Gardens. But I, I warn you, they are expensive. The three pot one is about 50 bucks. And um, it doesn't really work as well as the ones that you make if you have a good grow light. And there's the seven pot one with the LED lights, which is about almost $200. So this is an easy way of making your own and growing your own food. And if you really don't like to use Miracle Grows, as I said, you could do the same thing with these net pods. Hydroponic net pods. It's simple. So I encourage you guys to make your own 
garden, whether it's aero garden, regular garden, just make it make something that you can grow your own food. It's easy and it's simple. I hope you enjoy this. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave some comments for me down there and I'll make sure that I answer your questions. Thank you.